Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we got Matt's truck and trailer here today. We're just about to go and pick up a treasure and try and stick it on this trailer here. This is Matt's little light hauler and uh, we're headed out to Gary's place. I think you guys remember Gary. Uh, we'll shoot some video when we get there, but for now we are headed this is Matt's Cummins diesel um, pickup. So we're headed out now. We're not going too, too far, but uh, we will show you what we're grabbing when we get there. And we're ready to hit the road. So let's hop in the truck and we'll meet you over at Gary's place. All right, we're getting into Gary's neighborhood. We're just about ready to cruise up driveway here back in we're gonna try and get Matt back and in this guy here we can't see our treasure yet but just one second while we back in We're headed up the drive here. We're gonna pick up Gary in a minute. There is our treasure we're taking home. There's Gary all bundled up because we always seem to get treasures on the coldest days. But this is what we're picking up. And we've got Matt backing in. Okay guys, like a lot of things, the brakes are all locked up on this guy. Matt just hooked the chain to it and we're going to try and just get it yanked out a little bit so we can get it lined up with the trailer. Okay guys, we got the truck positioned. There's Gary. That is a GTB. Burma Jeep boom for the uh, the bomb service truck. And Gary bought his truck. When was it, Gary? 70. Bought 1976. 1976. Here we are in 2020. He put the boom in his J20 for a while. We're taking it back to the shop. We're gonna sandblast it and paint it, and that's gonna be one more piece done on Gary's bomb service truck. That's how I met Gary, maybe 20 years ago. A guy came into the shop and told me somebody not far from me had a Burma Jeep, and I didn't believe it. And that's when I met Gary. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either, that there's some guy told me that, hey, there's a guy in Bradford, Connecticut's got a GTV, and I said, no, I haven't seen one in 30 years. Yeah. So but birds of a feather flock together. Yes, sir. We're gonna we're gonna let, take a look at Gary's garage there. We're gonna go look at some tractors in a little bit. Gary's got a tractor sickness, but he's had this J20 and a Burma Jeep for quite some time. We're letting Matt do all the work today. And inside's pretty clean. Uh, it's hard to see, but 93,000 on here. Uh, it's got the 360, it's got the automatic. This is a very, very, very late truck, one of the last ones built. This is titled. The title says 88. Title says 88, and they only made them. It's the last year they made them. Yeah, only made them up in 87. So this is a very, very late truck. A couple areas of rust here, but not too bad. I can fix that up. So I guarantee you. This is probably the only J20 in the country that's got a GTB boom. You got that right, Gary. Oh, I used to tell people this is the only, you come you're trying to find my house, I'm the only one in the, on the street with a J20 with a GTB boom. This is true. 
All right, we'll keep letting Matt do all the work today. He's getting his winch ready. We're gonna try and get that guy on the trailer. It's the same, the, the wheel base here, the wheel width is the same as his uh, fenders here. So we'll see how it goes. Do you charge from the truck here, Matt? I do not. Okay, we're going to see what kind of... Hopefully Matt's got a fresh battery. We're going to see what kind of results we get pulling this guy up here. Here's Gary. Came out like a groundhog today. <laughs> All right, here is an Alice Chalmers. Big 10. Big 10. It has some... What's good? What kind of problems we got on this one, Gary? Uh, bevel gearbox needs to be overhauled. Bevel gearbox is getting overhauled on this one. What's under the cover here, Gary? That's an Alice Charmer 720. It's got a big 720 there, waiting for its big repower day with a Honda engine. Yep. Get the, uh, the, the, the shop voice. You don't see too many. We'll come there. around to that one. What is? That's a snow blower that goes on the Alice Chalmers. Gary just restored this snow blower. Come around to the other bay. He's got a monster mower deck here he's rebuilding. That's for the, that's for the, the big Alice Charmers. What do we got here, Gary? It's a 1965 Alice Charmers B10. It's all been restored. You just need to kind of get it back together. <coughs> Here's Gary's one-of-a-kind shop crane. <laughs> that I got from a junk pile. Restored that. Check out Gary's inventory. Look at this wall here. It's a Gary's hardware store. Gary's got more cans lined up on this wall than most people. Plenty of nuts and bolts to take care of all his projects. Right. What's this one, Gary? It's a Simplicity Power Max. It's basically the the little brother to the Alice Chimer 720. This this is a, four, a some Power Max 4040. It came with a 16 and a half horse Onan. I got it. It's got a rototiller attachment and a 52 inch snowblower. Gary is the little garden tractor man. He's got plenty of stuff tucked away in the weeds back there, but uh, he's making it happen. Well, you know, when it comes to it comes to this stuff, too so much is never enough. What do we got under there? That's the snowblower. It's, it's it's light duty. 52 inch, weighs 350 pounds. So I guess it'll get the job done. Absolutely. We're going to get that one back to the shop one of these days. Sam Blast to take it apart and put it back together. And here is Gary's GTB frame piled with stuff. Let's hope we can shame him into doing something on this. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the priority now. Piled with ladders and stuff. And Gary has a single rear wheel GTB most of them are dual wheels here's his fenders and he has the single rear wheel fenders so that's a little bit of Gary stuff let's get back to the J20 see if we can get it on a trailer Okay, we made it back to the barn here, and we're just going to get the straps untied and get it off the trailer. OK, 
Okay guys, we got the hood popped. Uh, there is the original 360. Doesn't look like anything's been changed or done to this through the years. It does have air conditioning and that'll probably come off along with a few other things. And you can see how long it's been sitting. You can see the mud wasps have made a nest right here. But everything appears. We still got nice clean fluid in there. It's been sitting for a while, but uh, not in too terrible shape. Let's check the oil. Yep, there's good. Not bad. Looks like clean oil in there. So it's not too terrible. Um, it's going to get some work. Like I say, there's some rust to deal with, but a pretty solid truck. Floors are still there, looking good. A little bit of surface rust starting, but nothing terrible. And light switch is out. But, uh, I've got some spare parts with this. The seat's in pretty good shape. Lots of pine needles in here, but it doesn't appear to have affected the truck too much. Everything's still kind of frozen today, but uh, I can't really get down. But the bed looks like it's in pretty good shape. We're going to work on getting this boom out of here. I got a sandblast after the airy. And um, we'll take a peek at the underside when one of the days gets a little bit warmer next week. We'll take a peek under there. The, t uh, the tires were locked up, but they uh, everything's rolling now, so they did break free. Doors are nice and solid. And, like I said, this was titled as a 1988. I'm not gonna, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Let me try and zero in on this. Conforms to EPA regulations for um, 1988 model years. So, this was either a very late... 87 or maybe a few of them squeak through in 88 I didn't think so um, but uh, this is title as a 1988 and we're gonna get this guy going and this is gonna be a daily driver for me so every now and again you do bring home a treasure and I'm super happy with this guy so uh, we'll just keep picking away at it little by little until we've got a roadworthy truck. So um, Matt has got some more vehicles coming in next week and we'll bring you some more videos of some things that Matt's selling. And remember he's trying to fund CJ2A number eight. So anything you guys can do to help him out would be fantastic. Um, but for today, hope you enjoyed seeing the J20 come back. And uh, thanks for watching. And we'll be with you again soon.